Hello. It's September 1st, and we're kicking off the first day of Stamptember over at Simon Says Stamp. There's a huge new Simon exclusive release that's now available, and today I'm featuring a card using the cute fall Frenchies. September is also my birth month, and I'm kicking off a $100 giveaway, so be sure to watch the video for all the details. So let's get started. Fall Frenchies is full of cute autumn-themed French Bulldogs and great fall sentiments. I'm using the adorable apple picking pup for today's card. I stamp the image onto white cardstock with Versafine, heat embossed him with clear embossing powder, and colored him with Copics before die cutting him with the coordinating die. I've sped up my coloring so that the video won't go on forever, but I'll list the markers I used in the accompanying blog post. You'll also see the place where one of my newly filled Copic markers blooped a bit on my pup's head, but thanks to some blending I was able to work it out. Also, I apologize for the focus shifting in my coloring. I thought I had locked my focus on my new camera, but didn't realize until I had finished that I hadn't. Hopefully it's clear enough how I'm shading my image, but as always, feel free to ask in the comments if you have any questions. Anyway, while you're watching me color, let's chat about the giveaway. I've had a personal 2019 goal of reaching 10,000 YouTube subscribers. I'm getting a little closer, but thought I'd throw a fun incentive in. As I mentioned earlier, September is my birthday month, and I'd like to share a little shopping spree with one of my YouTube subscribers. At the end of September, a random subscriber will be chosen and will win a $100 gift card to the crafty shop of their choice. And if I happen to reach my 10,000 subscriber goal by the end of September, I'll throw in a second gift card to another lucky winner for $100. And all you have to do to enter is subscribe. Current subscribers are already eligible to win, and any shares on social media are also greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for your support all these years, and good luck! Anyway, back to coloring. Once I was finished coloring, I blended several panels with Distress Oxide inks. I used antique linen, scattered straw, dried marigold, and barn door. On two panels, I applied the inks randomly around the edges of the A2 panels, and on one panel, I blended the ink in an ombre pattern from top to bottom.
Once they were dry, I splattered all the panels with water and blotted off the excess water to add lighter spots. I die cut the two border panels with the leafy frame border die from Simon Says Stamp. Then I used similar Copic marker shades to color the outline of my die cut Frenchie to match the background. I like using this trick to create a more seamless effect. Next I adhered one of the leafy border frames to the background panel with liquid adhesive and then adhered the second frame going the opposite direction for more dimension. I splattered the blended panels with various shades of gold and copper metallic ink. While that was drying, I stamped the sentiments from Fall Frenchie onto black cardstock with Versamark and heat embossed them with gold embossing powder before trimming them down to thin labels. I also added accents to my Frenchie with a white gel pen. Once my panel was dry, I adhered my Frenchie and the sentiments to the blended panels with foam mounting tape. I finished the card by adding sequins from the new Autumn Leaf Sequin Mix. And that's it! You can find links to my blog and all of the products I use in the YouTube description below. And if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows you'd like to see more from me. And don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win the $100 crafty shopping spree. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day, and happy Stamptember! Bye!